he's off and running now. It's the opening day of antelope season in Colorado. It's October 4th, and uh, these bucks are still in the rut. They're rutting pretty good. You can see this little buck. He's got these does pushed up into these choya cactus here where he feels safe and the other bucks or the competing bucks are pushed out away. Antelope rut's really long. It starts at the end of August, goes clear into the middle of October. But uh, probably most of the rutting's done by now. It's starting to get real competitive. I always thought this would be a good chance to see a big one. This guy doesn't quite fit the bill here. He's probably a 75 incher and we're looking for something 80 or above. So we're gonna keep, keep cruising, see if we can find something bigger. There's a lot of country to cover, so let's get right back at it. Oh, the buck's out there about 600 yards. We need to get about 150 yards closer. I never could get a shot. The grass is just too deep. I could see his head, but I couldn't see anything else. We uh, committed to the dam down here and got ourselves too low on this hill. And it's dished out around us, and there's just rise there that we can't, can't compensate for. Just when I thought the stock was over, things take a surprising turn. They're pretty curious. They've uh, come right up on us, but... Now I get a closer look at him. I think he's short. I think his horns are short. It's a good buck, but it's not quite big enough. I think he's just short. We saw another bucket tip forward over on the other side over there that looked a little better, and we're gonna go try to find him. I think he's a little bit better buck than this one, so. But it was fun, it was a good stock. Had him at 600 yards, stocked into 350, decided to wait him out, and then he and his does get curious and walk into 150 to 200 yards. Sometimes they do that, especially on the opening of season. They don't know uh, it's hunting season yet, so they're more curious than they are afraid, but not the, quite the buck we're looking for, so we're gonna go find, try to find that other one. I think we found our buck. He's uh, way across these two draws above the trees over there. He tips way forward so he's real recognizable. He's kind of a non-typical antelope. Doesn't have a lot for prong, but he's, he's pretty cool looking. He tips way forward, so I think we know how to get over there. We're gonna have to uh, go down around and then, then up. But uh, he's got a doe pushed up in there, probably a hot doe. He had more than that last night, so. Hopefully he's uh, not too wound up. It looks like he's pretty, pretty mellow right now and interested in that doe, so. We're gonna go over there and put a stock on him. He's off and running now.
After a heartbreaking missed shot and an antelope buck I've been trying to find for two days now, I'm eager to get back out that afternoon and relocate him in an effort to redeem myself. looking for looking for that big lean forward buck this one uh, it's a nice buck but he doesn't have much for for digger so we're gonna let him go and uh, keep looking for the lean forward buck I think he might be in this draw this buck was coming to water we're sitting at the water hole he's pretty thirsty about 180 yards but we're gonna let him go Late in the afternoon, we finally managed to turn the buck up again. He seems to be headed for water, and we might have a good line on the perfect midday ambush. I think he's gonna go down. He's down. <laughs> well, that buck gave us a little bit of a rodeo all morning. Holy smokes. I missed him uh, a few times this morning. He moved up in this basin with his hot dough and Tim and Kurt and I were able to get up on this edge and and they were coming right in, I think, to the water. But he's done, he went down over there. We're done. He's a stubborn sucker. Man, this is one of the worst places in this area to have an antelope, in my opinion. I've tangled with them up here a little bit, and it is tough. Just a really weird buck, huh? Jeez, if you can't shoot a giant, shoot a freak, right? Yeah. Well, here's a picture of the Colorado Freak. This buck is really, really wacky. You know, last year I was fortunate enough to take a really big buck out here, an 87 incher, and this year I was uh, lucky enough to get a real freaky buck. So if you can't shoot a giant, shoot a weird one. And this one is weird and freaky. He's just got knobs all over his horns. Awesome, awesome antelope. Couldn't be happier with him. He's really gonna look, be a, quite the uh, conversation piece in my trophy room for sure. Talk about an old battler, look at this. He has a, had a piece of horn stuck to, the, to his side where he's been fighting. I thought it was a big old scab or something, but I think it's a chunk of antelope horn. What a cool buck, that just makes him all that much cooler. We hope you had fun today, as much fun as we did out here chasing bucks on the prairies of Southern Colorado. And until next time, remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. I'm Guy Eastman, we'll see you next week right here on Eastman's Hunting TV.